Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to the 17th of September. Today is Tuesday, and it has been downpouring all night and all morning. This ought to be a fun drive to work. It's like full-on wintertime out here. Look how fast some clouds are moving. Good Lord. But I'm standing out here at the moment. Because it's not raining at the moment. I like that. <laughs> Definitely a case of the skies were angry. No kidding. Man. Oh, cold, wet, windy, and rainy. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, little woman. Yes, they were going to Since it's just in. pouring down rain and nasty out there. Yeah. I'm going to say my goodbye right here from the automobile. There we go. That way we can make a mad dash. Like a, yeah, you go up, I go down. Yeah. <laughs> so have yourself a wonderful day. You too, sweetheart. And uh, I'll see you as I come up, get coffee and parts and whatever. All right. <laughs> All right. Nice, Love. See you, bye. So did a 6,200 mile service on this thing, or 10K. Um, <laughs> go to take it for a test ride and then the rains came but before that this is a 2018 R, uh, R1200 uh, R1200 RT option 719 I'm trying to spit it all out almost got a test ride worked on this some more she's uh, basically a lateral support shy of sliding out sideways out of here find out what's going on with this thing keep getting pulled off and back on pulled off back on but we'll get her out we'll figure out what's going on yeah other than that it's been a, like a crazy quiet day I, i've been busy but you know other than that it's been kind of quiet had some peeps come visit that was kind of cool Got the dash on order. Did I ever even tell you guys? It was the, it's the flasher inside the cluster. So I'm thinking, wow, that cluster is going to be expensive. Doesn't matter. VRP is going to take care of it. But retail for this dash is only 164 bucks. That's a pretty good price for a, a, a piece of electrical equipment that has the flasher inside of it. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of makes a stack of body parts there, doesn't it? Those are all just body parts. And of course, I got the drive shaft sitting there, or the drive pulley. Oh, Lordy. I'll get this thing out. That's probably what I'll do tomorrow. I don't know what I got scheduled. I'm gonna release the, this is the whole engine harness here. I just gotta knock the lateral support loose and slide it through. And I'll have to disconnect some of these connectors because they're they're in the way. But that's it. That's the whole engine harness. There's a couple places you got to disconnect things. But um, other than that, that separates it from the engine. It's amazing that all that information is going through just a few, just a few cables. It's a lot of engine management going on. There's your uh, alternator. You guys wondering where the alternator's at? She's sitting right there. 1250 watt, I believe it is, alternator. That ain't your grandpa's stator right there. That's regular automotive type stuff. <laughs> A lot of new connectors that I've never seen in the in the spiders before. A little bit different lock tabs. Control modules in different places. This is, you know, all new to me from 14 through 17. The 18, 19s, we're finding things a little different. Other than that, everything's pretty much the same. Airbox. There's your, um, this is where it comes up the snorkel. Goes into the airbox itself. Then it goes into the secondary airbox. And then into the throttle body. And then into the plenum and down the three little snouts right into that that thing right there it's got these little things i think we call them pistons they go up and down up and down <laughs> that's the air pump so an engine is pretty much just a 
just an air pump. The only difference is a little fuel mixture being thrown in there and some little sparky sparks up top. More air in, more air out, the more the, uh, the air pump works, the more power it produces. <laughs> yeah, this has kind of been the story of the day. Rain, it literally, I pulled the bike off the rack, the RT, I was ready to go for a ride and um, finish some paper work up right quick and I hear the rain. But I did get one of these today, one of those Kestrel, I mean, this thing's literally a whole weather station, all in one little unit. Tells you all kinds of goodies. 62 degrees. You flip this out, and it'll measure measure the wind. <sighs> Holy moly, I was moving along at almost 10 miles an hour. I should have had this thing out here earlier. We had some crazy gusts going on. That's pretty cool though, huh? And uh, it'll link to your phone, Bluetooth. It's really cool. Real cool. It's gonna be a handy little device to have out in the wilds. Little woman? Yes, little man. Did you have yourself a good day? I did. I had a relax yours? relaxing day. Didn't get as much done as I wanted. Got snuffed out of a test ride on a option 719 R1200 RT. I paused for a second to do some paperwork. Well, and I'd have I'd been out on it when it came down. Yeah, I wouldn't have been. It actually dried out and, and I blowed it. Oh well. Uh -oh. <laughs> Shall we head north? Sounds good, Hub. All right, let's bust her out, Mom. All right. Well, hello there, old Slimity Slim Slim. It's Eider, Beamers, Hogs, and DRs. The time has come to change the oil in this old thing. <laughs> Man, look at the dust on the engine there. I got the, the engine oil draining down there. Gonna reach underneath there and get my Ural filter busted loose and draining. Got my shop dog, Danny. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> Need to get another shop light up here. They're all facing that way. Need to get that done. What do you think, Danny? We need some light over here as well. So I don't have to use drop lights everywhere. It's kind of dark and creepy underneath there. But got all the oil drained. Got my pans. This thing's like a 16 quart pan or something like that. And geez, it's full. Can't put another one in there. I wasn't sure I was going to get it. So I think this is like a four or five quart one sitting there. She's just my rag holder at the moment. But I've uh, got the new filter and everything in. I go up top side and throw some oil in it. There's Danny. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm upside down under the truck here. There's old Danny over there. He's hanging out with me, my old buddy. There's my old DR. <laughs> All right, let me get this thing finished up. Just me alone in the Honda. Listen to this out here. It is flat, flat coming down. Danny says, I'm perfectly fun. Whoa, whoa. The heck was that? What was that, Danny? Oh, it was a grasshopper. What the heck is that thing doing out in, in all this rest? Probably why he's coming in here. He's going, I'm out of this, huh? In my little shop, buddy. Yeah, I guess that's what Cooper does with Ryan, too. He just hangs out with him all the whole time he's out in the shop. So, it looks like Saturday is here in Toledo, anyway. Supposed to be less than a 10% chance of rain. So uh, maybe me and the little woman and I either together or on two separate bikes. I really like the two separate bikes idea. And uh, man, listen to it out there. Holy moly. All right. I'm here to tell you the heavens are upset at the moment. Good Lord. 
you think there, Danny? Seems weird to have the truck back in here again. It's like the old wintertime days. So what do you think there, old Street Glide? You willing to go out and tackle some of this stuff? Hmm. Maybe one heck of a drive. Like a crazy drive. That thing would see water like it never seen before. <laughs> Poor old gal. Let's see. I know you'd handle it fine, but you wouldn't uh you wouldn't qualify. I love you and all, but this is a Harley thing. <laughs> well hello there YouTube. Welcome back to the porch vlog. Oh. And Leo. Oh. Lee, don't start the talk. He's such a goof. Yeah. Should have thrown him in the house or something. I know it. But Might have to do that still. Yeah, he'll hang out. For a little bit, anyway. Yeah. Oh, man, the deluge finally ended. Yeah, that was a typhoon. Yeah, I finally gave up and uh, decided I, I gotta go inside. My coat's all bunching our vest here. And uh, so I, <laughs> I just ran across the yard. Man, there's pools of water. I splash, blam. <laughs> Come through, I was soaked. Yeah. I think I was wearing my work clothes. I threw this hat back on. After I changed clothes, this thing weighs about five pounds. That thing got soaked just coming from the shop back to the house. And Danny did not want to come out of that garage. He goes, no, we got to go across finally... the water. <laughs> he just ran up, came up on the porch here. And then we got the, you guys remember the splash, the splash. Yeah, they're only thirsty when we're running yeah, the second, camera. Yeah, second we turn that camera on, boy. It's, it's... it's like, oh, there's water. Yeah, <laughs> goofballs. And don't drip it all over us. So yeah, the old Honda's got her her neck service. I need to change the uh, what they call the well internally at Honda it's called the dual pump oil, but it's uh, called the four wheel drive oil in the book and whatever. It's yeah. this weird oil that you can only get from Honda that goes in the rear disc part of that four wheel drive high tech whiz bangy whatever that Honda has. Yeah. All our elements had the same thing. And that needs to be done. And then uh, it says to rotate the tires again, but they ain't get rotated again. They get replaced. Yeah, the, it's time for new yeah, ones. Yeah, it's definitely time for new tires. That's a lot of miles on those tires. And they're still, I mean, they're, you know, not completely, well, they're not bald at all, but I mean, they're not at that, you know, they need to be a replaced point. Which is really weird to get that many miles. Whatever them things are, we're getting another setup. Yeah, because they last a long time. Last a good, great in the snow and the rain and really, Ice, really good. Yeah. But they're getting thin enough that you hit them water holes and you, you feel a little more <laughs> hydroplaning than you should. Yeah. Yeah, plus, you know, after a while they start getting out of balance and stuff like that. You feel little shakes that weren't there before. It just You know how it is when your tires get past the time they should be replaced. But it's mileage wise, I don't know what the warranty thing is on them. But you measure them, they're fine. They're fine. Yeah. So we just, yeah, like today, you know, hitting all that water, it's like, yeah, we need some tires. What do you think, Abby? Abby's going, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. It was just Danny and I were the only dogs out. Everybody was inside when I came back. Yeah, they got Porch was empty. And <laughs> they all find their little pillows and stuff and <clears throat> sit there and. Do their whole thing, you know, I hang know. out. Go, they, they got, got them oh, inside. It's all yucky outside. Let's Man, just sleep. Yeah, that kind of rain, that kind of weather, is one of the things I. I mean, I've been in it plenty before, but I would hate to have like a sustained like day or so of it. But you know, looking at weather, going down there, it's you know, once I once I get down, I, I'm talking like I'm going. I'd still, I mean crunch time I got to decide one way or the other with this thing but if I was going once I get down and over towards Texas you can well you can have a storm there anytime but at least uh you it know it passes be, quickly yeah so. seems to but I don't know that's uh I would have to leave on the 30th it'd take me four days of uh 
over 500 miles a day. However long that takes. The old rule of thumb is is two hours for every 100 miles. Yeah. And I don't care how you dice it up, how fast you go, whatever. It works out the two hours for every 100, 100 miles. Yeah. So that's 10 hours of driving plus per day. That's, that's a lot of seat. Time. That's booking it. That's I will have a permanent impression of that street glide seat in my high end, high end, mm -hmm. hind end. You can get it out. Yeah, the uh, then you know, figure spinning you know Saturday and Sunday there, and then jump right on and ride all the way back. Maybe It'll I'll spend cool. an extra day there. Texas so close. Maybe I'll go over there and say hey to some old friends and yeah, that'd foes be cool. and whatever over there. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. Anyway, we've been jaw jacking with you long enough. We'll roll out. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an awesome Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. Think Texas. Texas. The old Lone Star State. Love I'll be, Texas. I'll be feeling all kinds of at home. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I'll be calling Kelly. Pack, Pack her up. up the truck. <laughs> See if you can get all the dogs inside. Come on down. Yep. I would in a heartbeat. You know that, yeah. don't you? Yeah, she would. She's not from the South, but loves the South. Yes, I do. So, anyway, well, talk to you tomorrow. Yes. All you right. guys have a good night. Thank you guys very much now. Happy, what are you doing to my feet down there? Because I'm just chewing <laughs> on them. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow now. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.